Remco, Magnus, and Metzenoris are no strangers to the promotion tournament. Stakes, Cock, and Shamway are trying to cash in on their debut appearance. Supersonic, it's been a tumultuous week for these two rosters now playing, as mentioned, under the names Karen and Stonkers. It just feels weird saying that. They could use some good news for a change, though, to close out the weekend. How do they make it happen for themselves? Oh, man. Uh, this, this is going to be this is a, an odd one for me because, again, like Subi just said, RCD Espanol goes to the final match seven out of nine times. Their one loss, they end up getting swept 0-3 by BDS. So it's one of those ones where they're kind of hot, cold, hot, cold in a series where they're not typically a team that's just hot all the way through a series. They're, they're grudge matches. They're, they're longer matches. They're battles all the way to the end which gives me some thoughts towards Karen having a chance here. Um, but once I get down to looking at the, you know, the uh, nuts and bolts of this and, and where these teams are in terms of what they're doing, and goals for game, number of shots allowed, things like that. Like on paper, it looks like we should be, we should see what we just saw in the previous match where Solari had a sweep. Uh, I'd be surprised if Karen pulls this one out they're going to need to clean a lot of things up. They're going to need to really stop the number of shot opportunities allowed to RCD or to, uh, sorry, to Stonkers. They're the highest shooting team in the EU side of the league. They shoot over nine times, uh, get over nine shots per game average. And, well, Karen allows the most shots per team in the RLCS of the EU. So... They're going to need to figure out how to stop that mid-game and, and break those plays up before they occur. Remco, no stranger to the promotion tournament. This is his third time here coming from the RLCS, but he survived both times before. Magnus getting a shot towards the net. It will be Tox who stops this and sends it downfield for stake. Now Metanoris will take over. Took his time, though, and took too much of it. Remco will try coming out now. You know, it's been feast or famine throughout Remco's entire career. When he has looked good, he has been money. But when he has not looked good, which is basically the past couple of seasons, it has been ugly. But when he gets to this point, it seems like he just flips the switch again. And we kind of see the Remco of old. Right now, it's Stake trying to link up with Cox. Doesn't work out for a shot. Now Stake will have a look at this, but watch Magnus deflect it off to the side. Stake looking for Shamway here, and it is the former Espanol, now Stalker striking first. First goal going to go in. Stake brings this one down straight onto the nose of Shamway, and he puts that one away clean over on the right side of the goal. Great first shot, and so far the control and speed of this game is going the way of Stalkers. The RLRS teams have been so far today really kind of sticking it to the RLCS guys as they dominate them speed in speed. The exact inverse of what we saw yesterday with both RLCS squads yep. retaining their spot in North America. Here's Cox. Around the corner, that's inter intercepted by Metzenoris. Now Remco after a demo in net. Remco's going to roll this one home. Yeah, that demo just completely opens up the field here for them. Mong is able to turn back around, get a quick touch to get that ball back to Remco as well. So great touch from him. Opens an easy shot up. Samway and Magnus combine on this kickoff. It'll be fielded by Remco as we restart. Brand new start for these two teams after they've conceded a goal each. Loose ball to be claimed by Metzenoris. You know, when Magnus and Metzenoris reunited for the first time in a handful of seasons, they've certainly hoped for some of that magic that took them to the grand final back in season four. Instead, here they are hoping to get to the upper finals of the season nine promotion tournament. Here's Remco popping one away. That relieves Magnus of his duties in net. Now Stake got a piece of this. He was looking for Tox, but deflected by Metzenoris. It has been ugly at times for Karen on the defensive end. Here's Stake just beating Metzenoris, but Remco was there along the back wall. 
lot of offense. Four Starkers so far, they almost got another one, if not for old Ironsides making the stop. Yeah, they're getting there and getting the getting the shots on net. They're very aggressive, still controlling the pace of this match. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to put that many away. They did get that opening goal. Haven't been able to find anything since. But as long as they can keep this pressure and they have that third man back to stop some of these uh, quick transitional attempts out of Karen, they should eventually break through the defense of Karen. Norris had a couple opportunities, could not cash in. Now Magnus will try some way, trying to stay in net, and Stake instead is the one who makes the stop. They had some way beaten, but two defenders in net. Nobody could take one of them out. Samway's missed this, though. So Remco, soft shot on, popped up by Tox, and Stake will finish the clearance. There's a demo by Remco that doesn't amount to a whole lot. In fact, it could still turn into offense for Stonkers. If Stake can get control, but he's got a battle with Remco. Remco looking for Metzenoris. That's taken away by Shamway, and it just seems like Karen wants to play at a much slower pace, and Stalkers are not willing to let them have that pace. They're trying to play much more up-tempo, trying to get right in their face, very similar to, like, a, a Pittsburgh Knights play style. Drop down Whoa. for Tox. To go back to the corner, more offense for Stonkers. All Metzenoris could do is clear this towards midfield, but they barely get across the center line before Stonkers comes back for more. That's going to be some way waiting on the doorstep for a rebound. And Metzenoris had to make a reflex save. Can they make another? No! Stake gives Stonkers the lead with 31 seconds to go. It's just smothering the defense here, shot after shot. The rotation perfectly spaced out from Stonkers here as they just continue that one, two, three, shot after shot. Eventually, they did find their way through, and they take the lead here with 30 seconds left on the clock. Fox thrown one over to the corner. Stake is waiting on the weak side. Shamway on the doorstep again. Another rebound opportunity, and Shamway converts. Great pass here from Stake as he cuts it right onto that bar off of Rimco and down to Jamwe. Finds the hole there right on that right side. And they may have just kind of finalized this match. At least round one. 15 seconds remain for Karen to get back in this. They have to go the length of the field and score very quickly to even have a chance at a kickoff goal to tie things up. Magnus, this is on and in with three to go. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a glimmer of hope remaining here for Karen in game number one as Magnus puts that one right on the money. You can't get any more into that upper 90 than that without that ball bouncing back out. There is a sliver of hope. Metzenoris could not link up with Remco though. So Magnus does all he can to keep the ball in the air. Magnus downfield, Ram Metzenoris got to get on his horse and he won't get there in time. The Stalkers hold on behind two goals from Shamway and take game one. Pacing completely controlled by Stalkers throughout. Nine, 12 shots to five. They are dominating the pacing of this game. It really does look like the speed of Stalkers where yesterday, the RLCS teams clearly had a speed up advantage on the RLRS teams. It seems to be the exact opposite here in the EU side of things. They are just dominating on the offensive pressure and they're breaking through the defenses of these RLCS squads. And now the challenge set for Karen as they try to tie up the series. We'll head over to Neo Tokyo in a moment. After a long season like this, obviously two teams moving in very different directions. You've got this Stonkers side that had an outstanding season, playing a lot of tight matches, but coming through in those close matches, whereas the former TSM, Karen, going the opposite direction, coming down from the RLCS. How do they mentally get back into this? Uh, getting an early goal one is going to always help that that's my first go-to every single time is get a goal get it early that's what's going to get you going get some wind in your sails the other side of this is 
he, ha he can have a little bit of confidence here because RCD has, or um, Stonkers, sorry, has gone to game fives or to that final match the majority of the time. They don't play consistently through series. They do eventually win them out and figure it out at the end, but they tend to go hot cold. They give up one, they win one, they give up one, they win one. So this might be a moment for them to get one under their belts. And once TSM gets going, Karen, this is going to brutalize me all day with the name changes. Uh, once they can get something going, they might become a problem for Stonkers. The stake will get kind of a lighthearted shot here. That's easily saved by Magnus. But coming back is Stonkers. Loose in Ooh. front. Metzidoris has made a mess of things. Jamway couldn't put it through, and Magnus comes to the rescue. Remco off of stakes for Jamway. High off the backboard. Ooh. Talk saved, though, by Magnus, who did just enough to stay in position. Talks needed just a little bit more roll to his to the uh, towards his right side or roll left, I guess. We needed to bring that left. Uh, left wheel a little forward to get that one around him just couldn't get it done and here is Cox collecting at midfield and Metzenoris will intercept not a lot of offense though in the first minute and a half for Karen they've struggled to get quality looks throughout the series Metzenoris this it is still an early series here is Cox got stake waiting for a pass that pass quite get where he wanted to, so he had to go up and get it. Now Shamway against Metzenoris, and Metzenoris will easily clear it away. He's got Remco downfield, looking for a double stake in the way. And off to the side it goes to Shamway. Good team defense from Stonkers. Been good team defense for the most part from Karen as well, as Remco will drop one down to Metzenoris. Illustrated perfectly here. That's falling towards the net and talks has to flutter all the way back to save it. Stake and Magnus up for this. Magnus up a mile ahead of him. Remco trying to deflect one down to Metzenoris. Double for himself. No, and Tox will just pop this away. Tried to play keep away from Magnus, but instead he actually kind of served it up for him. Now Jean way back the other way, and Remco does have this. Guided gently to the corner, and Metzenoris makes another stop as well. It it hasn't been too dangerous from Starkers. They've had a couple good looks early on in this game. Since then, it has been just kind of standard run-of-the-mill offense back and forth, waiting for someone to make a mistake, and there have been very few mistakes to capitalize on. Yeah, there's, there's been very few mistakes, and in, in, it's exactly that. It, it's basic plays. They're doing some of these soft touches on net. They're not putting any power. It's not threatening the defense of Karen in any capacity. They need to get a couple more powerful shots on net, bring the ball downfield, get some infield passes going, or just boom one from midfield as Tox just did and take the 1-0 lead with a minute 32 left on the clock. Uh, and sometimes these basic throws are just going to make it down there. Sometimes you're going to catch Rimco out in the corner looking at looking at a boost, and you're going to get a freebie. Looking for a boost pad, hoping that it would spawn, and it never did for him. But Remco left without boost. If he had any at all, he probably makes that save. It is Stalkers ahead in Game 2. They scored first in Game 1 as well, but Karen did have an answer. They had a couple. Stake, going to take flight. Only Metzenoris to beat, and he beats him. Stake with the read off the top. That ball is going to waterfall down. Brings it back to himself. Textbook. Clean. Yep, and when the backboard is defended like that, might as well be an open net. It is Metzenoris against Stake. As Karen needs a quick answer, they may get one from Remco, oh, no. no! And Metzenoris couldn't read it coming off the post. And look at this, pinch downfield, Remco will be there for it. I thought that one was going for a second there too. Those those pinches off the post, or those hits off the post, are hard to read, can't really fault Metzenoris for it, but they really want another look at that ball. 
one that in seasons past it feels like they couldn't possibly miss but here they are the way things have gone the past couple of seasons for all three of these players just another mistake that they've been waiting for off the corner here nobody downfield for stalkers now stake will finally give a little bit of pressure but they're just interested in maintaining this zero on the other side of the scoreboard they've done a pretty good job of it they only have 11 seconds to hold on remco over shamwe he won't catch up but tox is there and that will likely be the last chance for karen they're not going to come back in this game the only question will the zero remain and the answer seems to be yes as the ball heads towards the ground remco just spinning around and you know supersonic yes it is easter sunday but these are not the eggs anybody is looking for it's going to be a lot of zeros when you look at the bottom half of the scoreboard uh yeah there's there's quite a few at least six zeros on that side and it might have been that in the previous match as well it just a cannot get the offense going on the side of Karen. They're, they're not getting anything going. They're really getting kind of stuck in their own half by Stonkers. They're getting a lot of... Uh, Stonkers is doing a great job of getting some uh, creative double touches just to try and keep possession of the ball stuck in the opponent's half. And Karen just hasn't been able to respond to it yet. But remember, these are best of sevens and we saw constantly all throughout yesterday... 2-0, not an insurmountable lead at all. We've seen teams come back and turn this into a series. And this is a team full of veterans, players that, yes, they're also very familiar with this particular tournament. They've seen all sorts of score lines. They've seen all sorts of adversity. This is just another day at the office for Team Karen. They go into game three, however, mentally a must win because you're certainly not going to pull off four in a row coming back the other way. No, not going to pull off four coming back the other way. But as you were saying, what we saw yesterday is a lot of the times it did go two games one way off the start. Another team would bring it back two. And we got to a lot of game sevens. Haven't seen a game seven yet today as Solari just kind of brutalized in point. 4-0 swept them out the gate. And so far, this one appears that it would be going the same unless TSM or less Karen can get something figured out here. And they need to figure it out now. Metsonoris will turn to challenge this. That keeps Stalkers at bay for now. Remco up the side looking for help and said he's going to take this himself. But he's pushed it well wide. Metsonoris on the weak side. Not a whole lot to work with as Jamwe will get this downfield. Remco is there and he does roll this by Jamwe. So a chance for Karen, if not for the efforts of stake defensively. A lot of the passes coming out of Karen so far have been easily readable passes as well, or soft touches where they're passing them off the underside of their car. There's no speed involved. It's making it really easy for Stonkers to get these reads in the midfield and just break them up. There's no threatening passes coming out of them. They need to figure out a way to speed that part of the game up. Oh, Stake does speed things up and gets up just ahead of Remco. And Stalkers will score first for the third game in a row. Ugh. It, I want to see, boy, I want you a echo battle today. Of, I want a game. It, it's just, it's hurting me in my soul. I, I, I want to see right. this team come alive right now with guys like Rimco, Metzenars, and Magnus. Like, just expect more based on the name. And we're just not seen that we're seeing a shadow of these players right now i think you just now echoed the sentiments of the ex tsm fans all over wondering when this team's going to come alive is there anything left for them as their spot in the rlcs not on the line in this match in particular but dropping down to the lower bracket it becomes a much tougher journey to retain their spot especially just with the mental aspect of being swept if that does indeed come to pass. That's Sonoris over to the corner. That gets by stake, but Shamway is there. Cox waiting as well. Nobody actually at the net, but they could not challenge Cox appropriately as they put that pretty much right on it. I will say this so far for this match. Right now, they 
Karen does have more shots on net. They are getting more going. They have held uh, Stonker so far to only the one shot on net. Thought that was going to be a second one there. Held them only to one shot on goal, which has kept this series a bit closer. This match, it's only a 1-0. But they haven't been able to figure out how to put the ball in the net. They're getting the ball down there. They're just not making any threats still. Stake will climb the wall here, and Shamway could not get up in time for that pass. Cox will center. It is past Stake, and a chance now for Karen if they can break out. Shamway floating all the way over to the corner. Metzenoris can't get there ahead of Stake. And again, Stonkers stave off another attack. And it wasn't much of one from Karen this time. Cox to center again, and this is what we've seen all season long from the former RCD Espanol. Everything towards the center of the field, constantly getting opportunities, shot after shot. Eventually, the defense just breaks. It's broken once here. Remco looking for an answer. This is down in front, and Metzenora's shot denied by Stake. Now Jamway back the other way. Has Magnus retreating, but he's thrown that off to the side. Stake so far has made an argument for me for MVP of this series as he's been everywhere. Midfield breaking up passes. He's created some passes for goals in the previous round and has a goal so far this match. He's just had a read on the XTSM squad since the start. Remco looking for the read there, trying to dunk one in. Maybe Karen's best opportunity so far, and it's gone by the wayside. Now with only 45 seconds left. Man advantage though, Shamway's out of the picture. Two miss, and Stake will make an easy save on Magnus. Metzenoris whiffs entirely, and a chance again for Stalkers to get downfield and burn even more precious seconds off the clock. Yeah, they love this right now. Stonkers has no problem, and we've seen it in the in the regular season. They have no problem with winning the game 1-0. They're not a team that feels that they have to chase after that second goal. They're still going to play to try and get it, but more so they're going to try and control the clock and control that lead. When they get ahead, that's when they win those series, when they get up early. Espanol could not do it through league play, but when this ball hits down, they will be five minutes away, perhaps, if they can kill it, from being one match away from the RLCS. 3-0 is the lead. They're looking good so far. I'm, I'm honestly impressed with how they're handling this. And maybe this is due to the expectations that I had after watching the matches yesterday, where I, you know, maybe... Maybe I was leaning a little heavy into the RL, the RLRS teams after watching and becoming such a fan of them throughout the season. I was expecting more of today to be similar to what we saw yesterday and some of these battles and it to be closer. And it really does feel like the EU side of the RLRS is just dominant right now in terms of uh, handling these RLCS boys. How funny would it be, Supersonic, for this team that... It didn't matter who they played. It didn't matter how good their uh, their opponent was. It didn't matter how bad their opponent was. They would always seem to go the distance, go into game five. Now they have a chance to finish this series, a best of seven, without even getting to a fifth game against Karen. That's a great sign for them. If This is when you want that stuff to kind of piece together and through the off season is when you want to figure those out because you don't want to go in if you do qualify into the RLCS having to play game fives every single week because they're not going to go the same way that they did in the RLRS. You will not go through in game fives time and time again up in the RLCS. Those teams are not going to allow you to do it. They're not going to feel the same level of pressure that rival series teams do when they get their backs against the wall. The RLCS guys have been through that. They're veterans. They're not going to react the same way. If Stonkers win this game, we will be guaranteed to have a rival series team promoting up into the RLCS out of this tournament. Karen's got other plans as Magnus has a blistering shot stopped by Tox. And that is how Karen starts this must-win fourth game. Now they'll look for more offense. Remco can't get across midfield. Stake is there, so Remco will try to throw one across just out of the reach of Shamway. Magnus and Shamway, they combine on a challenge. Metzenora stops Tox as well, but this will fall to Stake. 
And he tried to slow play, and Metsonoris is having none of it. Popped over Remco. He backflipped, missed the ball entirely, got a demo for his efforts as well. Now Magnus left on the back wall, and he does clear this away just ahead of Jamway. Back the other way this goes, and Tox has to make a stop over towards Big Z, but it's Metsonoris who gets there first. Remco doesn't have anything to do with this play. He gets demoed yet again. Now Magnus. Double demo alongside Tox, and it is Steak who makes the stop. It is looking like kind of a, a new look team here for Karen. They look like they have a lot more life at the start of game four. Is it too little too late for them though? It, 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 at the very least, it looks like they're trying to get to the ball a bit more. They are getting after it so far in this match. If they don't end up winning it, they're at least getting a demo, a bump, something. They are creating possible opportunities. I think if it goes another minute or two here without getting scored on, they'll be able to start piecing this together. Whoa, close one there from Remco as he drops down and takes a quick look at the net, puts it just high off the crossbar. Almost one of those flashes of brilliance that we've seen in the previous two trips to the promo tourney from Remco. But almost, only counts in horseshoes. This is dropped down and talks. Sends one off to the side. It's Clever play set up by Stonkers. Execution not quite there. And now Metzenoris just throws one away and Shamway will bring it right back in. And I think Stonkers are very willing to play this kind of tennis-like oh. back and forth game because it doesn't seem like Karen can keep up with their speed running up and down the field. Yeah, they have no problem with that at all. Stonkers, that's a play style that benefits them well, just trying to do this back and forth. They have the quicker transitional goals or transitional offense from what we can see oh, so wow. far. State gonna find one off a pass from Zomway off the back wall. He's gonna put that away. And the XTSM roster right now has gotta be shaken in the booth. This is the end. This is the moment where you need to come alive. You gotta figure something out here. Get a pass, put some blistering speed on this ball and get it downfield. Stake scoring his fourth goal to go with a pair of assists in this series. Stake meets up with Metzenoris. So now it'll be Magnus taking over, trying to get over Tox. But Samway is back there, Tox still on the side. Shot just off the mark and Remco will boom it away. Those we'll players this. work when Stonk you have a lead, but they can't chase it down. Yeah, the Stonkers offense is so far for me of all the teams that we've watched through, well, I guess Sol Solary today as well, through the promotion tournament, the closest look to what I expect out of an RLCS level squad, and it's in those passing plays. They are always, always looking for them. Times when you think there's no way this guy's not going to take the shot, they'll still make a pass off the back wall or try and drop it down to somebody. They create off-speed attacks, which throws the defense for a loop. Looked like they had a one-two play going with Magnus and Remco, but Remco got demoed, so off the respawn, his shot saved, but only up Ooh. to the ceiling, and Metzenoris hits the crossbar! Oh! The story of the XTSM roster right now, Karen is a tale of Karen being really, really angry at the crossbar. The manager is having none of it from Karen at the moment. Magnus to Metzenoris, and another save by Shamway. The Stonkers defense was all out of sorts. They were running into each other, but Shamway barely got there at the corner of the goal. Another shot that's going to be high. There aren't a lot of saves being made. It's just everything off the crossbar, off the post. And if Karen couldn't score then, they may never score at this point. Metzenoris will try again. Another infield pass. That's blocked away by State. Karen has come alive at the tail end of this series, and they still cannot break through. State is looking like it's going to end. Here. It is indeed Shamway. Swatted away by Magnus. Last chance for Karen. Magnus downfield. Remco is there. This is still alive off the corner, but Stake is going to pound it down. And the Stalkers join Solari in the upper finals. A pair of 4-0 sweeps for the rival teams.